This is section 9.1, adding and subtracting polynomials, uh, part two. This is actually take two of part two. The first one didn't, didn't save correctly. So in the example three, we're writing each polynomial in standard form and then classifying it by degree and the number of terms. What is standard form? That's the first question we have to ask. Well, standard form, very simply, is writing everything with a decreasing degree. The highest degree first and the lowest degree down to zero second. Now, in this first problem, I've identified the degree of the first one. x is 1, x squared is 2, and 1 is 0. So we write it in the correct order, 3x squared plus 2x plus 1, decreasing degree. And then we're going to classify that. Now, this is a new term we're going to introduce here. This is called a quadratic trinomial. Quadratic because the degree is 2. Trinomial because there's three terms. Now, let's look at the second one. We have x squared y. Remember, y has an exponent of 1, so that degree is 3, and the 5 is a degree of 0. So our degree is 3. We write it in the correct order. x squared y plus 5, the same thing. And that's called a cubic binomial. Cubic because the degree is 3. Binomial because it is a two-term problem. Our next one is 2x minus 9. I've written the degree of 1, degree of 0. So once again, that's the correct order. And so that is called a linear binomial. Linear is the new term that we have for degree of 1. And we always name a polynomial by its highest degree. So it's a linear binomial, binomial because of two terms. We look at our next one. We have x to the 12th. Obviously, the degree there is 12. Degree is 2. Degree is 0. So it's a 12th degree trinomial. It's already written in the correct order. And there's nothing more to be said trinomial because it's three terms. Now let's look at our next one. 2 plus 1 is 3. 5 plus 2 is 7. Degree of 3 is 0. Degree of x is 1 because remember that's really x to the first. So the highest degree is the seventh. So I write that in the correct order as you can see here. And then we look at our degree. It's a seventh degree and it's a polynomial. Polynomial because it's more than three terms. F is a very short problem. As we look at it, the degree is 2. So if you remember from above, what is something with a degree of 2? I hope you remember that's a quadratic. And it's one term, so it's a quadratic monomial. As we move down to G, we add up our degrees again. 5 plus 1 is 6. x cubed and x squared are degrees 3 and 2, respectively. And so what is this? This is very simply written in the correct order already. And it's a 6 degree trinomial. Our last one on this page. The degrees, as you can see, I've written are already descending, 3, 2, 1, and 0. So with four terms, it's going to be a polynomial, and it's degree 3. So we're going to call this a cubic polynomial. This concludes this page of our notes. Let's move on to the next page.